the human body, a complex machine made up of countless interacting systems, each more intricate than the last. From the skeletal system that provides structure to the nervous system that controls our every move, the human body is nothing short of a biological marvel. In today's video, we're diving deep into the extreme complexity of these systems. From the obvious to the obscure, from the gross to the downright weird. So, buckle up because this ride through the human body is going to be a wild one. Let's start with the foundation of it all, the skeletal system. Composed of 206 bones in adulthood, this system not only gives us our shape, but also protects our organs, anchors our muscles, and stores essential minerals like calcium and phosphorus. And let's not forget the joints the unsung heroes that keep us moving without turning into rigid statues. Next up, the muscular system. Because what good are bones without something to move them? With over 600 muscles in the human body, ranging from tiny muscles that control your eyelids to the massive quadriceps in your thighs. The muscular system is all about movement and strength. But did you know that your muscles are also involved in things like maintaining posture, circulating blood and even generating heat? Now, let's get into the control center of the human body, the nervous system. This is where things get really complicated. The nervous system is like the body's electrical grid, with the brain as the command center, sending and receiving signals through a vast network of nerves. And when I say vast, I mean it. If you laid out all the neurons in your brain end to end, they would stretch for about 600 miles. That's like driving from New York City to Detroit, except with brain cells instead of roads. Next, we dive into the circulatory system, the body's internal highway. This system is responsible for transporting blood, nutrients, oxygen and waste products to and from every cell in the body. And when I say every cell, I mean it. The circulatory system is so vast that if you stretched out all your blood vessels end to end, they would circle the earth more than twice. That's about 60,000 miles of vessels crammed inside your body. Talk about an efficient use of space. Moving on to the respiratory system. The body's way of keeping you supplied with oxygen and getting rid of carbon dioxide. Every time you breathe in, your lungs are working hard to extract oxygen from the air and send it into your bloodstream. But here's something you might not know. Your lungs aren't just a pair of airbags. They're actually made up of millions of tiny sacs called alveoli, which increase the surface area available for gas exchange. If you spread out all the alveoli in your lungs, they would cover a tennis court. So take a deep breath. That's a lot of surface area doing some serious work. Now, let's take a journey through the digestive system, the body's version of a food processing plant. It all starts in the mouth where chewing breaks down food into smaller pieces and saliva starts the process of digestion. But the real action happens in the stomach, 
where powerful acids and enzymes break down food into a soupy mixture called chyme. Fun fact, the stomach lining replaces itself every few days to avoid being digested by its own acids. Talk about self-preservation. On to the urinary system, because what goes in must eventually come out. This system is responsible for filtering blood, removing waste, and balancing fluids and electrolytes in the body. The kidneys are the stars of the show, each one containing about a million tiny filtering units called nephrons. These nephrons filter about 50 gallons of blood every day, producing about one to two quarts of urine. And you thought your job was tough. Now let's talk about the endocrine system, the body's hormone factory. This system consists of glands that produce and secrete hormones, which act as messengers to regulate various bodily functions, from growth and metabolism to mood and reproduction. Hormones control it all. And while we might think of hormones as tiny, they pack a serious punch. Just a small change in hormone levels can have a huge impact on your health. 